a heroic police officer recently found himself in a high-speed pursuit of a Florida thug, who brazenly leaned out of his car window and shot the cop in the face through his windshield. However, little did the punk know, he was about to receive a brutal dose of instant justice from this cop, who wasn't ready to die. Jacksonville County Sheriff's Department Officer Jeremy Mason received a tip on Tuesday, July 25, 2017, about an armed bank robbery. The robber held a gun to a bank teller while demanding money, claiming to be doing it for his family. The teller complied with the demands and police were alerted. Mason arrived on the scene, and when he approached 28-year-old Michael Harris, the suspect, he got into a car with the woman and led police on a high-speed chase. According to Blue Lives Matter, during the two-mile chase, Harris was leaning out of both sides of the car window and shooting at the police. During this time, he shot Officer Mason in the face. The pursuit ended when a car crashed into Harris' vehicle after he ran a stop sign, causing the car to spin out of control. He got out of his wrecked vehicle and began firing at Officer Mason again. Another cop, Det. Brad Hurst, was patrolling down the street when he heard a call on his police radio regarding the chase. Harris got out with a gun in hand as the two officers stopped. He was told to drop his gun by Mason, but Harris failed to comply, shooting again. Harris was then shot dead by Officer Mason and Det. Brad Hurst after they fired back twice. He is stable, but he has a long road back. Williams said of Mason, you have an officer who is shot during the pursuit. He continues that pursuit and puts himself between the suspect, who is an incredibly violent felon, and the community and ultimately winds up stopping him from endangering the entire community. Source, the Florida Times Union, reports show the woman driving Mason's getaway car was not injured in the pursuit, and she is now being investigated for her role in the crime. We applaud Officer Mason for still being able to take down the felon after receiving a brutal shot to the face. As the community prays for a speedy recovery for canine officer Jeremy Mason, he remains in the hospital. He brings honor to the community even after all the violence and contempt our law enforcement community receives. We are thankful for each and every one of our law enforcement officers who wear a badge every day to provide us with a fundamental necessity to civilized society law and order. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice.